welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a paid private reading. Spirit, I ask that you block out energy from anybody who might have a similar relationship to this one so that I can see the answers for this person and this person only. Any similarities will just be because the energy is similar and time is fluid, so that's what it is. If it resonates with your situation, it's because you're in the same energy on the grid. <laughs> okay, interesting. This would be a family member of mine also. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay, so <clears throat> when I did the sinistry report, it was good. It looks like that these two signs are very compatible. And it's because they're opposites. And the things that you have weaknesses in, they have a strength. Um, like, for instance, Leos can be kind of naive. And Geminis are very intelligent. And they don't fall easily for bullshit. Um, people can get over on Leos a lot easier than they can the Gemini. So, there's a lot of good synastry there, it looks like, just from what I've read. Um, there are some challenges, and we can go over those individually by phone, if you'd like, so that you can kind of um, steer clear of those as much as possible. Um, from what I understood, there was... Um, there can be communication issues was the biggest thing um, but you both enjoy adventure being out doing things the social butterfly you're both types of social butterflies if you will and I would, I would highly encourage you just based on the songs that came through and the questions that you gave me and I did not get these questions until after I had done the first reading of the day which was the daily reading and if you haven't watched it yet go back and watch the daily reading for today because a lot of this was actually addressed in the daily reading and ever since I did that reading and even before I've been in this I've been, I call it the zone. <laughs> I've been in the zone. Like, I get, I get in a trance. I get into a trance-like state, and I haven't been able to snap out of that. And I've done housework today to try and channel the energy in a positive way, if you understand what I'm saying. Because I, I, I was not able to snap out of it. I don't know how to explain it any better. Anyway, the songs that came through for this reading were Someone by Aaron Lewis. Make sure you look up the words to these songs because they're significant to the situation. Bible in a 44 by Ashley McBride, which was very interesting. I, I get a strong Christian vibe to this person. And then I have Whiskey and Rain by Michael Ray. And I think that just based on the songs that have come through for this reading, I feel like it's probably a karmic relationship, but I will not know until I pull card. Now, he could come out in the reading as a divine masculine, just based on the things that you have told me about this person. <laughs> he sounds like one. Okay, so let's get started. And see what comes out in the cards. That's what I'm most interested in. Spirit, how do you want to start the reading for my cousin here? Talk to me, Spirit. Let's find out what virtues are being worked on in this relationship. What virtues are you working on in this relationship that's forming here? This relationship is just... Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> Love. Love came out. That really, very rarely comes out in my readings. That love card. Love, patience. Oh my God, this is beautiful. One of you might have a Sagittarian placement. He must because you don't. And then we have generosity as well. So this person is probably very generous and you are also. 
Love, patience, and generosity. Yeah. That's beautiful. All right. What's the overall tarot energy at work in this relationship? Wow, I'm just so amazed. Oh my God, that's a lot of cards. Strength in reverse, that's you. There he is showing up as the magician. The devil in reverse and the fool. <clears throat> yeah, this is you. You. There's weakness and you're manifesting the end, I think of some toxicity in your relationships. And uh, we know that that's the other person, that you don't want to deal with that anymore. You don't want to deal with the toxicity that comes with this anymore. And I, I get it, I do. This is something that you manifested and you're gonna have a moment of clarity, a tower moment. Maybe from this video, I don't know. All right, let's see. What me message would you give us out of the Instant Magic Oracle? We have Strength, we have the Magician, we have Capricorn, the Devil, and we have Aries, the Fool. So we have Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, and then we have Aries, you, and Sagittarius here. We have Sagittarius here. So somebody's got a Sagittarius somewhere. It could just be a placement. Message out of here. Go easy on yourself. Things needn't be so difficult. Stop with the comparison to others. You are your own. You are on your own path, and they are on theirs. So this would give me the indication that maybe you compare yourself and the path that you've been on to other people. And I could see why. I mean, we're at that age in life where it's time to be settled with a relationship. Um, and we aren't. <laughs> So it's just a little bit harder for us. And we look at other people that have that and we probably want that. I'm sure. And I probably wonder why we can't have it. But if you understood the dynamics of the people that you compare yourself to, those people probably don't have it any better than you do. They might be on the verge of a divorce. I mean, you'd say don't compare yourself to others if you're doing that. All right, Spirit, what healing needs to take place here? Oh, there's temptation showing up for you and help from above. I'm not sure what to make of the temptation. And then pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the signs. All right. Now, let's see the questions that you have. I'm going to address those actually one at a time. You want to know if he's important to your future. I want to first figure out what's going on right here, if I may. And I am going to use my twin flame decks because if it's not, it won't come out. In relation to the new relationship. Why are these cards here, Spirit, in relation to this new relationship? I'm going to tell you what I feel. I feel like it's a um, current relationship. Yeah, somebody has a Sagittarian placement. This is um, a Sagittarian energy and a King of Cups. So it's like there's a lot of love and this desire to... I want to say he's probably very attracted to you. <laughs> Yeah, this is a hierophant. This person's got marriage on their mind. Or you do. Somebody's thinking about marriage. I see that in love. <laughs> or they're looking for love. Spirit's helping you to find love and patience and generosity. The hierophant and the wheel. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> Why do we have strength in reverse? What are we weakness here? What do we have a weakness about? Boundaries. Okay. I have boundary weakness. Fighting for love and setting boundaries. Alright. What's being manifested? Why is the magician here? Oh my god, that's a lot of cards. May I have one at a time, please, so the reader can read the cards. And let me just say, this is Sagittarius also. There's a lot of Sagittarian energy coming out here. You're manifesting your way out of feeling 
trapped and helpless because of having to wait so long for that twin flame that you've been waiting so long for. Yeah. You don't want to wait anymore. You're tired of putting your life on hold. It's, you know you know that the, the twin or whatever we assumed was the twin. And I'm going to say this, and I always go back to this point, that I'm, I've made this point with you numerous times and you still argue with me, but that's okay. I heard this person's name in my head for a month before you actually said that that's their name. And I kept asking everybody I know, do you know a person named blah, blah, blah? No, no, I have no idea. And then you one day just casually had been talking to me about this guy for a month and how crazy you were about him. And then you told me that his name was the exact name that I had been hearing in my head for a month. <laughs> Why is the devil in reverse? Everything pretty much is coming out in reverse. This is him right here, yeah. The tower. This tower is realizing that this person... You have felt very left out. Very rejected, very lonely, and you're realizing that you don't have to put up with these toxic mind games and bullshit betrayal anymore. Why is the fool here? Because you're about to take a risk because you've done some healing and you've stopped wishing for this other relationship to come into being. Why is temptation here? There's the Gemini. There he is. Ooh. The temptation is that there's two people here. <laughs> you have a water sign also. Whoever this person is right here, this is either... I think you have two people you're trying to juggle. You haven't mentioned that to me, but it's showing up in your reading. You're juggling two people. A king of cups and this king of swords, which is this Gemini. I guess you have two people and you haven't told me about this one right here. Why is the tower here? If not, then that might be just that you love this other person. Why is the tower here on the bottom? Because of the page of swords and the ace of wands. Ooh. You're going to realize that there is a lot of chemistry here. A lot of passion and a lot of potential. <laughs> That's what you're going to realize. A lot of potential. And it can actually lead to everything. Uh, okay. I've, I've explained this before, but I maybe merit doing it again. Karma relationships are not bad. They're good. They're good. Okay? <laughs> and they help us to do the healing work that we need to do so that we can grow. And have an, an amazing life. Because I've said many times that the twin flames don't usually even come together. That's rare. That's rare. Like, I don't know the actual percentage of them, but very, very few of them do. Alright, is the new guy important to your future? He's showing up as being somebody that you're juggling right now. These, let me tell you what these all said mean. This is like somebody who's devoted, protective, and emotionally mature. And this is somebody who has a lot of truth, mental clarity, and emotional detachment. And you're juggling and weighing your options between these two. That's the temptation. So, just because this one showed up, I want to know what he's feeling and thinking. What would he say if he could send a text message to my cousin? What would he, oh, wait, cards are turned all over in the deck. Ooh. What would he say if he could send a text message? What would this King of Cups say to my cousin if he could send, send her a text message? They told me you were full of it. <laughs> what would the King of Swords say 
it's late, really late, why aren't you here next to me? And I was going to say that I feel like this person is very sexually attracted to you. And that's what you're going to realize here. <laughs> this person definitely, I feel, wants to be intimate with you. This one right here says that somebody said you were full of it. And I smile when I'm reading. What else would the King of Cups say? I can't stand you. You drive me crazy. What the fuck did I get myself into? <laughs> what would the King of Swords say? What else would he say? He wants you in his bed. I'm not a good person. I'm a shitty individual. And what am I going to do with you, seriously? Why does he feel like he's not a good person and he's a shitty individual? <clears throat> Remember, I felt some... I got a vibe from his picture. There was something going on there, but I couldn't put my finger on it. Maybe he feels like he's... We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Is he important to your future? That's the question. Let's see if we can get an answer. Let's use this other deck. Is this King of Swords, this Gemini, the King of Pentacles is here with the Nine of Cups. I cut the deck on the Taurus and wish fulfillment. I just want you to know that's the clue I'm playing. <laughs> He's still showing up as being your wish fulfillment. But it was a missed opportunity for wish fulfillment. Alright. Is this new guy important to this person's future? Damn it, boy. He's a, yeah. You need to watch the video from this morning. Look, he's, he is a soulmate. He's your identical match and a soulmate. But there's other options. You're coming out in reverse. Because you have other options. <laughs> and I think it's this twin flame right here. Yeah, but this person is important to your future. I think he's been put here for a reason. Should I give it a chance to grow? The Four of Wands is in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Should she give it a chance to grow, Spirit? Why is that there? There's a indecisiveness. Why is she indecisive? Because of the tower, the ace of cups in reverse, and being patient. Because there's an ace of cups in reverse, there's going to be a tower about this. Why is the tower here? Because of the truth. A truth about a new start. An ace of pentacles. This is like a new job or moving somewhere new. You have two aces here. You have an ace of pentacles and an ace of swords. So it's like there's good communication and there's a solid offer. That's what you're going to realize. Why is the ace of cups in reverse then? Because that's the law. Why is it in reverse? You're, being, you're trying to go slow with this and temper yourself. Because you're still healing from some wounds and an ending that you're searching about. And there's a hermit here. That's a Virgo. There's a Virgo placement somewhere, too. You're soul searching about ending something else. One of you is. It could be you. You can't give it a chance to grow until you end this other relationship. You have to close that out completely. You're still leaving that door open because you're still really deeply thinking about that ending. How about the road trip, Spirit? We're going to save that for later. Why has he come into this person's life? Tell me why. Because of the, the trials and tribulations that you've been through. I think because of all of the relationships that haven't worked out. This is a four of wands. This is a relationship. And look at how empty. It's like your life has been empty and devoid of, relation, of healthy relationships. That's why. That's why. 
Show me the situation with the twin flame or the one we suspect is the twin flame. Why is he in her life, Spirit? To teach you a lesson about walking away from something that's not good for you. That's why. The lesson that he's here to teach you, to, I think he's a twin. Who is he? A third party. Clarify the third party. Yeah. He's, he's coming out as the spiritual connection. Oh, a card is turned over. There's the King of Swords. This is like a a spark or excitement. The beginnings of a page of wands. It's like it's not an ace of wands, but it's like those feelings of excitement and curiosity when you meet somebody new. This is this is somebody that's a third party in this situation. This is going to be a third party. And you have to learn to walk away from things that are not good for you. That's the lesson that he's here to teach you. This other person, whoever he might be you. You're showing up as the Queen of Swords, and there you are, the Queen of Wands in reverse. What's the outcome of this relationship, Spirit? It's not working. It's not working. Alright. What's the significance of this other relationship? Wow. The significance of this other relationship, this one with this King of Cups, is that you're planning and making decisions to step into this divine feminine power that you have and self-sabotage and nightmares. Why is self-sabotage here? Because you're going to have a missed opportunity. Or you're scared you're going to have a missed opportunity with the Taurus. That's what's transforming this though. What's the truth spirit about a missed opportunity with the Taurus? That was something that's... It's not showing up as over. There's hope and it's not over. Why is it not over? Like this is the most painful thing ever, but it's just not ending. Because you're manifesting <laughs> friendship with that person. You want to be that person's friend, I think. That's what it looks like it's saying. What's going to be the outcome of the friendship? Justice came out. And the Knight of Wands. I don't think you can be friends with him because there's too much pa uh, passion between the two of you. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. What is their hope for? What is their hope for? For you to stop feeling isolated and alone oh there's your nine of pentacles <laughs> there you are okay that was cool this is what's going to balance your life out right here this feeling like you've been left out there's hope for you to stop feeling like you've been left out and for you to know that you can be alone and be independent without feeling lonely And that's a, that's a thing I've noticed with you, <laughs> is that you don't really like to be alone. And I mean, who does? But it's healthy to be able to be alone, and it makes other relationships not be codependent. This is a good thing. 
this ending, this other relationship, that's you, you haven't ended it yet. In your mind, it's still not over. There's still hope for it. Because you're manifesting this person to be friends with you. But justice is here in the Knight of Wands. Why is justice here? Because of the Eight of Swords. Oh. This, this is the Twin Flame. The Eight of Swords in my readings upright is a Twin Flame. Uh, reversed its current. You're manifesting that person to stay friends with you, it looks like. And I think that's this King of Cups over here. There's the King of Swords again on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. Is there someone else in my future? Child, please. Don't you got enough men in your future? <laughs> Is there someone else that's a better option down the road, Spirit? Who knows? Huh? Who knows? Keep Who knows? Open. Who knows? Oh, my God. <laughs> The moon is here, Cancer, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, and the Devil in reverse. There's a lot of emotion around this truth about the breakup with this twin flame. The twin flame keeps showing up. Why is the Two of Cups in the, um, or maybe it's just the truth about relationships not working out. Why is that here? God, that's a lot of cards. Because of transformation, the Page of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Chariot, and the King of Wands in reverse. Alright, this breakup between you and this Taurus has has changed you. It's it's caused you to realize that when you think about this, you know you have to walk away from it. It's not good for you. But this right here, this this nightmare, this keeping you up at night, this worry and this constantly wanting to know is he the garment? Is he the twin flame? Because you know, you know, you already know. <laughs> This is what you have to overcome. This is what you have to overcome. And it's what's keeping you from being attracted to other people. Because when you felt that, you don't really, you can't find it anywhere else. It just is what it is. This is going to be where you find your happiness, too. You need to walk away from anything that's not bringing you happiness in life. And, um, there he is again, the King of Cups. This is a temptation to hang on and juggle. I don't even know if you're aware that you have this temptation, but you're tempted to juggle these two people. That's not good. That's not fair to anybody here. That's not fair. That's what you're thinking, though, is you're tempted to keep this other person kind of like tucked in your hip pocket just in case. Just in case. I'm going to keep this one tucked away here. <laughs> All right, that answered all your questions. Let's see. I'm just going to look at some other stuff now. That was the answer to all the questions that you gave me. If you have any um, confusion or anything, you'll just have to ask. 
and I can clarify something if you need it clarified further. But the problem is that you haven't ended this old, uh, this twin flame connection. You haven't ended it. Oh, for some reason, you don't, you're not able to. And you're tempted to juggle these two people. It looks like you're trying to keep one of them as a friend. And that's fine if you can keep them as a friend, but they were showing up as not being able to be kept as a friend. <laughs> they looked like there was too much sexual tension there. So be careful with that. Alright. What do we need to know here? What's the untold truth of the heart here <clears throat> that we need to know? What is it that we're missing? Show me what we need to know about this new person. Show me how this is going to go down with this new person's spirit. This Gemini. Show me what's going to happen there for her. You're conflicted. <laughs> You're going to be conflicted about starting this. Why? Why? <laughs> because of a secret admirer and rejection. That's why. Because somebody is secretly watching. And there's rejection. You might have fear of rejection or somebody that's watching you could have rejected you. I don't know how to take that, but just you understand it. <laughs> All right, is there anything else we need to know? There's some illusions. Back to this morning's reading, clarify the illusions. You have some heart fog going on. You have some mixed emotions about this. What do you mean there's heart fog? Being receptive and friendship. <laughs> this is going back to this friendship I saw over here with this Taurus. The King of Pentacles. You have some illusions, some mixed feelings about being receptive to this. This could actually be you feeling conflicted about this new person. Why is secret admirer and rejection here? Because of somebody shallow. <laughs> this might be the person. What do you mean they're shallow? It has to do with having an emotional whirlwind and intimacy. It's like there's intimacy issues, there's rejection issues, and for some reason, somebody's being a secret admirer, and they're shallow. Maybe this is somebody's ex that's watching you. I don't know how to take this. This could be you watching somebody else, though, and thinking that you might get a second chance there. Clarify which it is. It's about a fantasy. You must be still watching that twin flame. Somebody beautiful. I don't know. I don't know. You take that as it resonates, I guess. Alright. Show me where she's at here in this journey, Spirit. Because we know she's on one. You're fixing to start a new journey. There's the patience and understanding showing up. Remember love, patience, and generosity? This person, I think, is here to teach you about healthy relationships and, and 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 bigger than any of it it's more about you walking away from this person that's unhealthy look there's the the destruction and patience i 
had a whole clump of them fall over the deck. All right, where's this? Where's my cousin out here? <laughs> Look, you're the observer. <laughs> you're the secret admirer. <laughs> the Leo is the secret admirer. <laughs> All right, where is the Gemini? Show me what's going on with the Gemini and be very specific. The Gemini is at a crossroads. <laughs> Why is the Gemini, look, there's a soulmate. Why is the Gemini at a crossroads? <laughs> because something is on pause. Clarify what it is? So it has to do with self-worth. What do you mean, self-worth? Settling, free will, and creativity. This could be you not really sure if you want this. What's connecting the two? What do you mean memories and seeing signs? Family and unawakened came out with a nostalgia. So maybe you both are are still thinking about the past. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like to me that you and this person are still thinking about something from the past. And it's about family and being unawakened. Why is unawakened here? Because of justice. This is what I had told you before, that you were going to find somebody that was going to bring this back into balance. Because of how unfair this twin flame had treated you this person was very very mean to you union is here what might happen in the next two weeks here between this Leo and this Gemini you're going to get an offer of love and there's something going to happen in the spring the answer is yes is here, communication is here, and mirroring is here. So you're going to have an offer. There's going to be something significant about the spring and the answer being yes. Communication and mirroring. And refocus. That's what's going to happen in the next two weeks. And you're going to, the other stuff's got to end. If you really want to be happy and have a relationship with somebody new, you have to let this other person go. You can't have a third party. And you're making this person a third party. Between you and this twin flame. Because you have not ended it in your own energy. You have to cleanse your energy of this old stuff. And that's why I suggested that you watch the daily reading. <laughs> I just want to see what would come out of here for curiosity's sake. Talk to me, Spirit, about the Leo. What would you say about this Leo? There's obsession. All right, what about this Gemini? Usually we would think that the Gemini would have obsession. Oh, it says put away the computer. <laughs> okay, anything else? Spiritual lesson. This person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. That's kind of what I figured. Anything else you can tell us about this relationship, Spirit? Friendship, play hard, and you're going to have abundance. And that's been coming out in my readings, but there is a warning on the bottom of the deck. Why is there a warning on the bottom of the deck? Damn it. Because of release, soulmate, and rejection. And taking care of yourself. And in your situation, you have to accept and surrender the old relationship. If you want the soulmate to not feel the rejection. That might mean different things if, if anybody else happens to be watching. I don't know. But it's about being able to have radical acceptance and surrender so you can release 
and the soulmate won't be rejected, I think. Clarify soulmate and rejection. Yeah. There's chemistry. There's chemistry here between you and this person. What else? Forgiveness came out. So maybe you need to do some forgiving. What might be the outcome of this situation, Spirit? Children came out. Does he have children? I mean, it flew out. Why are children here? They've been coming out in your reading for a while. This could be your child. Why is children here? It has to do with denial. And going slow. I don't know what that might mean to you. Alright, why do they need to put away the computer? Maybe he might be working too much. Oh, wait a minute. Because of balance, passion, and strictly sexual. There could be something going on with that. And that needing to have integrity. I'm not going to say that he has an addiction to pornography. But I'm going to say that the Spirit is saying that they're looking at it. Okay then. Did not see that coming. Alright, can I get one of these? Please, from a cousin, before I close this message. What would you say? We know, we already know you're um, the FBI of social media, so <laughs> the fact that you're the observer doesn't surprise me that much. <laughs> wow, I got one card. Can you believe it? Shaman of Skulls and Peonia, or Peonia. I'm not quite sure how to say that. Shaman of Skulls, number 34. Don't stop. I'm going to the bathroom. Sure, Miss Mary. Go right ahead. Can you get up, or do you need I some need help? Enough. Okay. In your heart, you have been asking for something different, something more, and the universe is answering your prayers. You do not need to be afraid of the changes happening or that are going to happen for you. They are part of the answer from the universe. You might feel uncertain because you cannot see how it's going to all work out, but know that the universe is caring for you and will provide a way to move through the transition with grace. You are not crazy to willingly enter this experience. There's nothing that you need to avoid and so much that you will gain. And I think that's perfectly said. And I totally would agree with that. Just let go of this old situation and don't try to juggle it, okay? You are now being blessed with prosperity, abundance, and creativity. To enhance this time of joy and amplify your experience of grace, practice gratitude. Simply be happy for what you have and what is being given to you. The universe loves to keep on giving to those who are grateful and happy to receive and who give back to life from a heart with gratitude and a positive attitude. This is such a healing time for you. The healer within is awakening and your ability to give and receive healing energy is becoming more powerful. Your soul connection to animals, plants, and crystals will support your healing and increase your energy to attract and create positive situations for you and others. Are you part woman, man, part fairy, king or queen? <laughs> it's that gleam of beautiful brightness, magic, and flirtat flirtatious mischief in your eyes. Your soul catches the light. If any person or situation makes you feel less than your stunning true self, then take a moment to affirm the truth of your beauty, <clears throat> your magic, and your otherworldly charm. Remember that you are a glittering creature with so much to offer. 
Peonia, the fairy queen of the peony flower, bling, blah, 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 brings you an abundance of beautiful blessings to assist you to fulfill your divine destiny. Renewal after a deep and profound loss, the sweetness of romance, love, and feminine beauty, and special blessings for healing and restoration of the body, mind, and soul. The fairy folk are interested in you. They see that you have the ability for healing, for saving the environment, for awakening higher consciousness in others through art, music, dance, yoga, or any other way that you are with plants, animals, and crystals. In recognition and encouragement of your spiritual purpose and talents, Peonia brings you abundance and prosperity. She brings you happiness in love. And even, in your, even if your heart truly desires it, fame in your future. The Earth Mother and her fae creatures are encouraging and supporting you wholeheartedly to find and fulfill your life purpose. If you can listen to nature sounds alive and in the moment or through music, do that now. Close your eyes and really listen. Your soul can hear fairies speaking within the sounds of nature. They whisper and sing of magic and beauty and grace to enter the world. Feel gratitude in your heart for these beautiful blessings and imagine them filling your heart and the hearts of all beings. And I'm very grateful for this gentleman's service to our country. And that was very impressive that he was a, a war hero. Um, and that he served in that situation that you were telling me about. Uh, Black Hawk Down, I think is what you called it. Alright, let's see. Well, how are the angels helping here? Giving you miracles and courage. Beautiful. <laughs> I wouldn't argue with that. <laughs> I would take that in a heartbeat. How else? Yeah. Giving you knowledge, joy, and an awakening. And forgiveness. And I think that's the key. Is Watch the morning message. But I think that that's going to be the key. Is to, to forgive and let go. Did we ever... What is the tower? What is the tower? Why is the tower on the bottom of the deck? Because of practicing forgiveness and making a decision about a friendship. That's what you're going to realize. <laughs> and making moves in silence. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one. All right, let's look at your money. What's going on with the money here? May I see, please? You're going to have some options, it looks like. You've had setbacks, but you're going to have angelic help and options. All right, outcome of this, uh, angelic help and options. The office, transportation, parenthood, and animals. So, you're working in an office. It looks like you are going to go on a trip. That was the question I have an answer for you. There's been some mistakes, and you are needing to be quiet about these for some reason. Or maybe you just haven't talked to anybody about them. Can you just give me a message, please, out of the spellcasting deck and tell me if there's going to if there would be benefit of travel, Commu commitment, and strength. What's it looking like for this trip, going on this trip? Beauty and strength. You need travel in the future here. Oh, look, y'all. Travel and strength. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. I love you, spirit. All right, traveling. Talk to us, spirit. New beginnings, trust, your animals, talent, a commitment, your family, and a transformation. All right, anything else? I'm not seeing travel yet. There's that friendship. <laughs> What about this friendship, Spirit? What about this friendship? I 
there's the that's where the love is. That's where you have the love peace and there's beauty. This friendship and home. I don't see travel showing up. Let's see. Let's try it a different way. Let's see. I'm gonna let you ask some questions, okay? So pause the video and come up with questions and you can ask about the travel, okay? Weight and romance. Alright, first question. Dang, that's a lot of cards. Ask your angels big happy changes and there's something better with within the next few months. So maybe that's the answer to your question. Alright, we're going to do two more. Forgiveness and there's something better. Alright, second question. Whoa. You need to get more information and listen to your intuition. Alright, third question. You do have transportation showing up here though. Meditation brings answers, but big happy changes. And ask your angels. That one you might need to reword. Reword it. And let's try that one again. Hold on just a moment. Sorry, that was Carolyn. Alright, last question. Ready? Abundance, something is unlikely, it's not the right time, but recovery. I hope those made sense. <laughs> if not, then we'll have to try something different. Alright, anything else that I need to address here? What else? I think that this looks like it could be actually a pretty good relationship for you, but you have to choose one or the other. You can't keep um, one in your hip pocket. <laughs> That's not fair to anybody. And it looks like you're just trying to be friends with this other person, but it's looking like that's not really going to be possible from what I'm seeing. Not right now, anyway. That's not to say it won't change later. But there's too much chemistry there. <laughs> and I think it would probably keep, you, keep your head and your heart foggy with these illusions. Truly, I do. It, it would keep you from being receptive to this new person. Alright, I guess that's going to be it. I did get some new cards and I'm going to try those out in the next week. I don't know how they'll work out, but it's like questions. Let me get one for you and just see what happens. Can I have one card, please? One card. I got two, but that's okay. What was the worst purchase you've ever made? And what creeps you out the most? <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to use them yet, but they're just interesting. Would you change your name and what would you change it to? Maybe you would change your last name. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I'm going to pull a trinket for you. Can I get a trinket, please, for this particular person? For some reason, I got a marble. I got a marble. I got a heart with a nursing cap. Interesting. I don't know why that came out. Maybe it's relevant to him. A key. Another skeleton key. Interesting. A flamingo. 
across a bird. Birds are always significant because they, I've heard them when I've talked on the phone to you, and then we have the Jesus, and I felt a very, a very strong Christian vibe to this reading. I think this person might be a Christian. There's a ball. So that's something you need to think about, too, if your spiritual beliefs are a good match for each other. A tower, an anchor, a feather, and a skeleton hand for some reason. You got this heavenly help, though, help from above for this temptation to try and juggle these two people. <laughs> Hi, right, baby girl. If there's anything else I can do for you to address something, just let me know and let me know what you thought of the reading because you had two people come out right out the gate. <laughs> right out of the gate.